Hello everyone, my name is Joker and welcome back to Danganronpa. Last time, we figured out that Sayaka has a fear of losing her bandmates. I'm starting to suspect that that out doesn't have everything all put together up there. She ain't... something ain't right. But yeah, let's head right back into it. So we're currently on free time, daily lives, and um... We gotta hang out with people because we're social butterflies like that. In real life, I am just a ball of anxiety. I am not social. Trust me. Alright. Um, who do we have? So you got you three. Fuck Sayaka. Toka's in her room. I don't want to get yelled at again. You two. Taka in the bathroom. We got you two in the AV room. Class 1A and Class 1B. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna hang out with a Fumi. Because, um, I'm wondering what's up with him. Yo, Afumi! I wanna hang out with you at holy shit, you are big. Um, what's in here? There's nothing inside. Okay. I immediately regret my decision! Yay! Have you ever experienced it? The sweltering heat of the summer cons? The frigid cold of the winter cons? What? Is he talking about conventions or something? It's my duty to create a product that will satisfy the brave fans who suffer for their passion. I don't have time to be cooped up in a place like this. Hmm. Should I hang out with Hifumi for a while? And also, should I drink bleach after this? Um... She might not be that bad. Hmm. You wanna hear what I have to say? Well, what would you like to talk about? Comics? Okay, he's a gamer. Yep, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm doing everything just for ju just for shits and giggles, but collectible figures, pick and pick. Well, I'm a bit of a gamer myself. Um, I listen to Hufumi's half obsessed ranting longer than I would have liked. Hufumi and I grew a little closer today. Uh, I don't have any presents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how the music is. I see the quality in you, Mr. Ma Maggie. Too quality. Mr. Maggie! And that's why... I decided to present you... To lecture... Present to you my lecture on the nature of fan fiction. If we're going to be friends, you must be fully informed. I will permit no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. Well... Call it like, call it like you see it, at least he, at least he stands by his ideals, and I respect that. I don't think I have any fanfic bigger tree. I mean, I don't really know how long about, know anything about that kind of geeky stuff anyway. See, there it is! To you, fanfic equals geeky, right? But it's all that word, but... Is that word all that? Is that all that word is worth? <laughs> Shit, dog. Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> but that's okay. Because I take the word geek as a compliment. For you see, there's nobody on this earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. Since a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful mu musician must necessarily be a music geek. A movie director is a movie geek, you see. He got a point! He got a point! Actually. It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. Yep. That's actually... That actually makes sense. I'm a... 
I'm gonna get off him. All right. So when you see that fanfic, writing fanfic is geeky. That's it. I'm sure of it. You're recognizing us as true experts. Okay, so, um, what exactly is fanfic then? Here we go! <laughs> Secret direct question for the win! Mm hmm. Basically, there are different kinds of stores and events, right? These are where groups of holy warriors sell their own stuff based on games, comics, anime, everything. And the people who make. Well, most people make. Is fanfic? <laughs> Comics are the most common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. Mm. Mm. I know me. Mm. What's a mm. name for when a group of fanfic creators come together? Specifically, it's any organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work. Menagerie Square. I'm gonna call you a square. It's a circle. Is that a circle? Da, 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 da. It sure is. Of course you knew that. I mean, it's only common sense. <laughs> I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. Without a doubt. This goes beyond I don't know too much. Mm -hmm. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador... So sorry. <laughs> okay. Mm. By the time I'm done with you, we'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic car. <laughs> right? Oh, look at him. He's so happy. I want to give him a fish. <laughs> Throw him in the water, watch him swim. Clap his hands. Obviously, he's excited, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty day. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to... S Sorry. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for the two of us. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for the two of us. <laughs> Uh... Well, yeah, what with people wanting to murder each other and all that. Handiwork. Give yourself a bit- Ooh! That's a- that's a skill. After you're done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Come on, Monica, why can't we have video games and some shit? There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Alright, so we already- we already yeah. visited Fumi. Yeah. Um, let's try you again. God, it must be a fucking masochist for this shit. Leave the area. Alright. STOP FUCKING STARING AT ME! Oh, wrong door. I guess I should press the door. <laughs> Leave me alone. You don't have to pay attention to me. Should I hang up? It works! <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> Just do whatever you want. Alright. I spent some time with Vogue. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Uh, I don't got shit. I'm sorry. She's just standing there. Does she want something? Uh, she's not saying anything. Maybe she should try to start a conversation. Um, do I go? What? <laughs> you want to talk to me? I like, can't stop you. So, so talk already. Yeah, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know... We're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. <gasps> What'd you just say? Um... <laughs> after that part about being trapped, we're gonna be... Fr what? Uh... Friends? Ah, oh, shit, I think I pissed someone off. <laughs> what do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? 
for trying to trick me. I've only been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. Well, shit. <laughs> Given hurt, what happened? Anyway, come on. You don't really care about me. You want to. You don't even want to know about me. Even I know that. No, that's actually not true. What All right. the heck? Then to tell me. Tell you what. You know why they. You know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Uh, yeah, sure. You want all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me, you give a crap. You should at least know that. Genre about ultimate writing prodigy is. No, that's a clue me. So I already put the. It has to be this one. It's romance, of course. Oh. You, you actually knew? Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. Oh, yeah! The uh, beginning of the game actually said that. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of hottest bend poles, right? <laughs> How did you know all that? There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. <laughs> and she ran off screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Mm. Report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You unlocked the skill vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. And we get a victory drink of root beer. Once we're all done, I headed back to my dorm for a little while. Alright. Any more? Okay, so we got Hafumi, we got Tarko, we got Sayaka. Oh shit, it's nighttime. Ding dong, bing bong. Yes, hmm. what do you want? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Yes, yes. Soon just... the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry just at drink that your point fucking wine and go to sleep. I don't give a shit. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Third day here has already come to an end. When will I... No, we. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Well, yeah, I mean, with someone screaming at your face for trying to be their friend, uh... <laughs> I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't, if it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving it to regret. What do you think of the guides? Well, the well, speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it. So, even a human piece of extra man can create a masterpiece if they spend their entire life on it. Does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Well, in moderation, technically. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or the breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Now, with those. Uh, Examples, but I kind of agree. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, point zero 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 two seconds later. Ding dong, bing bong. Here we go. It's time. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. 
For your sake, I hope no one poisoned that wine you're drinking. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Yes, yeah, suck it, bear. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue pi <coughs> excuse me, piling up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> as soon as the thought had crossed my mind. Ding dong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Alright, who's at the door? Hey! Oh, hi there. Um, did you pull the stick out of your ass? Fantastic morning, isn't it? Tataka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Yo! I'm in my undies. The fuck do you want? I just woke up. Uh, what's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt! And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. How many people did you visit? Oh, God. <laughs> I was thinking about it last night, and... I decided we all need to really come together. That was when I realized. Every morning, from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! Now it's the beginning of that fateful day. Please, head to the dining hall at your er earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go let everyone know the good news. I would Oh god. <laughs> I can only imagine how everyone else would react. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He just turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Oh, I already got everything. Oh, I can't I can't warp there. Fuck you, game. Leave the area? Yes, indeed. Hey, uh, you still pissed at me? Um, wait, anyone else? Actually, hold up. I have to play finger twister. Oh, Jim goes also out here. Uh, hey, you, what's up? Hey. Makoto, can't any of you guys get a freaking clue? Uh, Are you for real? My mascara is totally clumpy. You're talking to a gamer. I don't know nothing about about makeup. I don't want anyone to see me this way, but Taka came and woke me up. What a dick. You look just the same as yesterday to me. How are you talking as about? if? It's like night and day. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aww. Uh, I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here, and that's what she's worried about right now. <laughs> Rule 35, I think. 35. Of Zombieland. Enjoy the little things. So, she's not entirely wrong. She's just misguided. I'd say. Yo, what's up, Leon? How's it going? Hmm. Ugh, so freaking tired. I mean, seriously? What the hell's wrong with that guy? Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I guess he's going around waking everyone up. You know what I mean. Seriously annoying. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my room. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure I'll just come bug you Give again. Give me a break. Yeah, probably. Damn it. Guess we better just go then. And that's that. Yo, still mad? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Toko. What's your problem? What? I was only wondering what you were doing here. You, you should probably head to the dining hall, right? I, I know. I just need to prepare myself mentally. 
Fair enough, because Taka's kind of a dick. <laughs> we found ourselves. What's she talking about? <laughs> I'm so nervous. What's she so nervous about? She gonna try to kill someone? I'm gonna be sad if she does. Do that power thing again. Ah, there we go. Yo, Taco, what the fuck, man? So, yeah, everyone's here. Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Motherfucker, you woke us up early in the morning. Give me a break. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know, I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essentially it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall and freaking Toko spazzes out in the background. <laughs> Every morning in the, after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? Never done that before, so I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echoed through the dining hall. Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything it can be about how to get out or who's doing this? Nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? You're going to die. Huh? Uh, Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! Well, what the hell? I didn't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say no? Wait, did I say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here. Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? it sounds like the girl wants to live here. And L, what power to her? But shit, dog. Piece of shit! No way in hell I'm living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> sure, feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who behind all this. Someone's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we, would we be trapped here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Uh, huh. What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Murderous fiend? Chihiro, do you have some idea on who might be behind mm. all this? Well, maybe. I mean, can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that's... You mean the serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say... They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even then, even like ten people would be totally insane. Hmm. Why are you seven? Okay. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, 
I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But, like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, does that mean that they're like a killer of a problem? Like the... Hmm, like that. Wait, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! Jesus! Leon, please! I had a stroke reading that. Oh. It's okay. Every, everyone's absolutely positively, 100% without a doubt, gonna be okay. Are you sure about that? Because help's gonna be here soon. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> huh? Help? Because, I mean... We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> <laughs> the bastard's here again. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? I know, right? Kinda useless. Bastard! Wow. Never heard you I right heard before. What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously? Do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All the good is for being a foil, play against a villain or an anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them. And that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such a reliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on! Do you really, really want to get out of here? All you gotta do is kill! <laughs> Either he is insane or he's a fucking moron. What the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still ain't going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. the serial killer psycho freak bastard. What the hell do you want? This serial killer psycho freak bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my goodness. We know who you really are. Uh, anything, or else he'll just go away. You son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun a couple days and go and a couple days have gone by. And nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think, yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? <laughs> That's why... That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there's one very important missing piece. What are you? Ching! If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's a motive. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to do some. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Um... Oh, by the way, something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, how exciting! But don't worry, it's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, something like that! You didn't have to say it like that, jackass. A video for each of you showing what's going on outside of the school. Outside the school? What are you talking? Don't fucking watch it. If he's doing that, then he has something up his sleeve. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go to that has everything you need to watch the video. The AV room, most likely. Correct. Am I wrong? Good. Well, we can go watch the video right now. Before you do that, I'd like to know. Mm. What are you? Why would you do something like this? 
What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Just there. That's all. Well, now! Huh. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to cover up the mystery within, hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> Cause to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um. He's gone. Once again, he left us before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful, actually. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps, but... What about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. When his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, will you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey! Piece of shit! Hey! <laughs> Stop fucking around! See how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Wow, what a pussy. I, I bet if I said that to him in all reality, I'd end up getting swacked. I mean, there'd be a body being discovered at that point. Okay, I guess I'll get going. Give me... Uh. Hell yeah! Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... Wakoda's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo! Yeah, sure thing. We're counting on the both of you. Really? Wow! If anything happens, just yell and I'll come run. Right, why don't you just come with us? Can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. Not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person here. Anti-hero? Hmm. So, what's the specific place Monaco mentioned? This was somewhere you could watch DVDs, but... The place that I've watched DVDs, then. The AV room. School store 8. Yep, this one. Well, can't warp there. Head right on over. The music in here is just amazing, bro. Right. Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. Okay, that wasn't there before. And each one has a label on it with someone's name. Must be a video for each of us, you mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I better go tell her. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her, I just stood there where I was. The DVDs in front of me all had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. The car provides the DVDs, but. What is it? Mr. Monitor was a high-end DVD player. I'll probably play those DVDs, no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I threw through the DVDs and I found... I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. And I slid into the expensive-looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen. And then... Oh... <gasps> I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor... It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true! Make sure you do your best! 
I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If I had any there, I would have been fine. A, mess a message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope Speak Academy, would have given me hope, given me strength. If this is a normal school, I would have been happy if a little embarrassed. My family support to rely on, I would have been able, I would have been motivated to do even better. Ah oh, shit! Give me a second. Sorry, I accidentally clicked the button on my remote. Um, but here, now it's totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling though. It turned out I was absolutely right. Oh shit! This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Dude, I think they're dead. KIA. Where'd everyone go? Looks like a war zone or something. Yeah, no shit, dog. I mean, what? That's my reply. The voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognize the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Whoa. Okay. What's... what is this? What happens to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me, like hot magnets. God, God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AP room. They stared at me. My face is full of confusion. Um... What's going on? Not a word. I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it? Like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed a DVD with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the... What the fuck? This, this can't be real, right? This has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on! Yeah, no way this is, No way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here! As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew. They'd all been... They'd all seen something like what I've seen. Nobody even bothered to try to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her, even now she was totally out. I see. So this is what he meant by no. How the fuck are you calm? He wants to fuel our desire to leave, so we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Let me use an example. Yes? Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. Those countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good peace. But there's a chance one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. As a result, neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> Kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <sighs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops a guard, you can just. What? what is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight. Don't you see? <laughs> Yeah, 
You're right, we we all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should all start like just talking. Maybe if we all can just talk about what we saw, then that'll help get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I was curious. Hey, Sayaka. Wasn't your video, Sayaka. Oh. Oh no. What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Uh-oh. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh, so much for that! Huh? Mm. Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I can't do that. I have to make sure... I have to go and make sure she's okay. You're fucking dumbass, Makoto. I swear. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my little things to take care of. Goodbye. <gasps> fucking go boss right there! <laughs> just fucking watch, watch the motor video and just like, ah, alright. I'm gonna go clean my room or touch on my makeup or just do shit. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them now. I have to go find Sayaka. Yep. I'm not talking to any of you fuckers. I'm going off and find her. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Um... She in, like, one of the classrooms? No, that's the gym. I might as well check the gym. Nope, oh, just Junko. Wait, hold up. Why why am I looking Why am I physically looking through everything? Alright, map. Okay, yeah, you're all in the A V room. Huh. I guess it wasn't even that easy. that I'll check the classrooms because she wasn't in any of the AV rooms. She wasn't in the AV room, so no, I'm not going to the store. So yeah, that's the AV room. Classroom 1A. Oh, there she is. Oh, that is atmosphere that I don't... Ugh. Okay. I found her in one corner of the room of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset, angry, or... No. She didn't have any expression at all. There's nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It's as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? <gasps> Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, uh, what did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Why? Come on out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulder. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. But I think what might have happened to my family... But now, more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So 
let's just calm down, okay? But there is the counter thought of it being true and you just being full of shit and talking out of your ass. But yeah, let's let's go with that to calm out to calm down your wife or whatever. Otherwise, we've already lost. I know I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself, clear to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might not even come before that. It might even come before that. What? What if there isn't a way out? Well, help never comes. If that happens, I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can, can I... can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? A absolutely! Makoto! You're the only one I can trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> Huh? Uh, of course, I'll be there for you. Jesus. This isn't gonna end well, is it? No matter what, oh, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I, I can feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this. As long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I come to know so well returned to her face. Felt a little forced, but still, it's a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! Makoto, <laughs> <laughs> it's standing up! What's standing up? Come on! Do you even have to ask? Yes. You're flying You had to do that. Get the hell out of here. Just a minute. No, no, I want to join in. Damn it. Well, if you don't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. Uh, it's about to come out. It's going to come out. My pristine, pure, white. Yeah! Stuffing. Future. <laughs> Honest, this stuffing is about to come gushing out. I hate this. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. Don't! I put so much energy into a single motion. I never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. Excuse me. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Uh, are you okay? If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time you took for you to finish your swing. With speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonism, it's all lacking. I... wow. That was a scene. Hmm. Um. What the heck was that just now? 
Ah, uh, that's what I want to know. And I thought Hifumi was bad. <laughs> he just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um... Well, for now, you want to just head back? Y yeah. After that shit show? Yeah. Monokuma had come along swiftly and destroyed the good mood we just created. Um, it was funny, I'm not gonna lie, but it was also just, what the f absolute fuck? <laughs> Saka and I headed back to the doors. You should get some rest, Saka. You still look pretty shaky. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right, I'm gonna lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. And now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It's hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Alright. Jeez. Seriously. What's going on here? There's just so many problems. Can't even decide on what the biggest problem is. Well, it's that fucking bear. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind had in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I can never kill someone. The others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Dang dog. Huh? Oh, what? What is it? When I opened my eyes, he darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. That time is about to start. So how come someone's here? Alright, um... Actually, I'm gonna... S I'm gonna actually end the video right here real quick. Don't worry, I'll, um, record immediately after this one. Just because, well, the run time and all that, I don't want it to run, like, so long. I want to give you guys, like, an option. Uh, that's uh, not the best way to describe it. Fuck, um, I don't want to overload you and just bore you guys to death. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, please stick around. You might see something else that you like. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! That fucking bear, though, man.